Dumb Bright Spark forgot his buff. Head sock, whatever you want to call the thing. So now I'm doing the whole hammered, whatever you call it, Arab thing. And sunscreen, and I hate sunscreen. I hate sunscreen on my hands. It gets in all between your whiskers. It's my hair. It gets between your whiskers. Mm. Whenever you're using sunscreen, hair regard, stuff like that, try and get something that's a bit of a masking agent. This stuff here is probably one of the best that I've used. It's a Halco catch scent. And it's got fish pheromones and all that sort of stuff in it, but I've had to put sunscreen on today, so I'm gonna put this on me on me baits to camouflage any mask like any air regard, fuel fumes, all that sort of stuff. So it, uh, it does make a difference. And all you do is you just get a little bit of it. You don't need about that much. Like that. Get your lure. Rub it between your finger and your thumb and just rub it on your lure. Sort of on the nose, everywhere. Because what happens is as these things vibrate, it dilutes this grease that we're putting on it and it leaves a trail behind it. If a fish comes in behind your lure and picks up that scent, that's a bit of a bite inducer, so that gets them to have a bit of a chew. So with the excess, just make sure you wipe it on your pants so your missus has got a reason to get up here. So these are the sorts of things we're looking for. Little lumpy bits on the bottom. You can see a few fish sitting amongst them, so we'll just have a flick and see what's poking about. Thing is, when it's calm like this, a lot of the time it's actually harder fishing. It might be great to travel and it's more beautiful to look at the reef and all that sort of stuff. But when it's this clear, it can be tough, really, really tough fishing. So we'll see what happens. What fish are they? Oh, Jesus. Birds working up here. What bait fish are they? Look at all the bait around us. All I'm doing is I'm dropping a jig down to what? 46 foot of water. Yep. On. Oh, I dropped him. Yeah. Felt very large. Tooth marks? Yeah, it's it's covered in tooth marks. Oh big queen fish. Do you want a tail grab him or net? How cool does that look? Wow. Oh, why is in the way? Sorry, I'll move it. <clears throat> That's such a powerful fish. After a cost effective rod, it doesn't cost the plenty of world, but it's tough as nails. These little arrow series are absolutely phenomenal. It's a big queen fish, too. It's a big queenie. Oh, oh, uh oh. You're right. This is Oh my god. It was, no, it's stuck that in the net. Yeah, no, that was the best netting job I've seen. It, the hook is stuck in the top oh, no, of the I net, David. That. Cannon. Oh. See if I can get it out of him and just throw him straight back. Stop the GoPro. 
Might be. Yep. Maggie. Oh, Dad. You would not believe it. It's not even hooked in him. It's wrapped around his body. I'm being dead serious. Look. It's wrapped around his body. <laughs> it might be hooked in him now. Oh, Dad! Lucky. He busted it right here. I don't know my math rule, so... What is he? So what is he, a spotty? Nah, doggy. No. Doggy. Oh. He knows he's hooked yet. Do you have a trace on? No, no wire. He's coming up like a mackie. Yeah, it's a mackie. Little one. Stay up. Do you want that? Oh. They're big waves. Dead down there, isn't This is a big fish, Dad. This is on my heavy slammer. Big spangly. Spangly? Grassy. That's my first big grassy in a fair while. Yep. Let's check out legal size on it. There we go, that one. Legal size on grassy sweet lip is 30 centimeters. Yeah, this one's about 40. So it's the first decent fish on bait today, and these these are one of the better eating fish. So he'll be coming home. One of the hardest fighting too. Yeah. Gave me a bit of a run for me money on the um, slammer. Another one. Another little spangly. Yep. Uh, grassy, sorry. No, spangly this one. Oh, is it? Yep. It's the same coloration as my last one. No, yours has got brown blotches all over it. This one hasn't. Hmm. Still there. Ooh. Oh, oh, like yeah. Oh, he was still there, was he? Yeah. That's not good. Oh, gotcha. Shit. Busted ya. Yep. That's a big fish. Ah, it's a nice trouty. Good one. Keeping little ones like that. He's just legal, but we don't really want him. Feels like another grassy. Oh, sharky poo.
Well. You know the scary thing about this? What? We've got sharks chasing our fish here, trying to eat our fish. Blokes water skiing just there. <laughs> Too much. It's a grassy. I gotta get it away from the shark. I don't know where that shark is. It's another legal. No, it's um, it's is he legal? So he's 33 and a half, but we've uh, yeah, it's a small fish, but we've already got one of these. He was about 40, so. I'm gonna let this one go. Bigger. That's a big stripey. <clears throat> hit it like a trout. That is a huge stripey. Oh my god. Look at the size of him. Heaps of people love eating these things. He's about the size you'd want to eat, but we've got we've got a feed, we don't need him. Dad just got a better one, he's 35, so not quite legal, but they're getting bigger. This might be the second. Oh, Jesus. It's... Now I go. That's really strange. It's all glassed out where we are here. <clears throat> and there's white caps coming straight at us. It's like a big front coming through there. Not a breath of wind here yet, only about 500 metres away is white caps. So that's our sign to bail. Get out of here.